June is a graduation season, which will unleash 240,000 fresh graduates into the workforce. According to a job bank representative, grads need to brace for a tough job hunt. Due to the economic impact of the pandemic, many Taiwan firms have been furloughing workers and pulling back on hiring. Some say this year's job market is shaping up to be the worst since the 2008 financial crisis. She brings out meals, attends to diners, and still finds time to ring up her customers. This is 22-year-old Wu Peiying. She studies marketing management and has worked part-time at this Vietnamese restaurant for almost a year. She's about to graduate, a prospect that worries her. I think my cohort of graduates will have it a little tougher. It so happens that our graduation coincides with a pandemic, so jobs may not be easy to find. Fortunately for me, I can stay at this company and keep working here. Wu has a cautious forecast for the months ahead. She's hoping her boss will make her a full-time employee. Her classmates will be joining her in a job market ravaged by the fallout of the pandemic. Some say this year's grads will see the worst job market since the 2008 financial crisis. The pandemic has indeed had an effect, reducing the number of vacancies on offer. This year, there was no wave of job hopping after the Lunar New Year. Instead, we saw a pattern of deferred job offers. Also, salaries for certain positions have been going down. Overall, wages have fallen by 0.4 percent. For entry-level jobs, wages have gone down by about 0.6 percent. According to the Ministry of Education, 290,000 college students will be graduating this year. Factoring out those bound for the military or grad school will leave about 240,000 young adults who need a job. Although the epidemic has subsided, many companies are still trimming the workforce and work shifts. Some have put workers on furlough. As the economy struggles to recover, job openings are said to be much scarcer than in previous years.